What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Flitter Brace, a brand new uh, YouTube video today. I got Dr. Disrespect coming back on Twitter. It was uh, a couple days ago, actually, yesterday in the afternoon. I uh, didn't have a chance to make a video, so I wanted to make this right now. Dr. Disrespect's tweet says, Are people still streaming video games? Question mark. What a snooze fest, period, bro. Bro added an actual period at the end of it, and he never really does like punctuations and shit like that when he's responding. So that's crazy. He really made a statement here. I wonder if he's going to be switching to IRL content or if he's going to come back as the same singles champ that he usually is video gaming it up, uh, tearing it up on the Warzone, Apex Legends, Fortnite, whatever, whatever it is. He'd just be tearing it up on PUBG, you name it. Um, but, bro, in all honest opinion, uh, he literally seems like he's doing anything but addressing the allegations or uh, going further into his only statement. I'm pretty sure he's got a whole legal team behind him, a whole bunch of legal stuff. But uh, Jimmy goes, what are you doing, Doc? Question mark. And Dr. Disrespect says, relaxing in the Lambo with the windows down back from La Vacation. Right? And then <laughs> my boy Sailor comes in. He goes, I found some video game streamers you would be interested in. Love emoji. And it's Kid Player, the Kid KO95, <laughs> Kitty. Uh, kitty minecraft <laughs> w sailor w sailor so made a photoshop one sounds like some doc would say given to certain circumstances but it might be a bad taste i might use this for the thumbnail i'm not quite sure but i'm not quite sure what he really means by this Dr. disrespects comments are people still streaming video games or the snooze fist it likely reflects his critical take of the current state of gaming he's really known for his larger than life persona and often uh controversial opinions dr disrespect may be expressing boredom and dissatisfaction uh dissatisfaction excuse me with the gaming content being streamed today uh my rebuttal of that is if you're finding it boring or a snooze fest why are you still circumventing the same arenas if you will you know what i mean like you already got outed for being like a, a weird little pedo bro like i don't know what else we're really supposed to do they could really be implying that game streaming has become repetitive stale and lacking in excitement compared to other forms of entertainment much like how ninja was doing that with kaisen and naisho speed saying oh it's all about views and getting clips now it's never even really about the game or being the best at the game or anything like that which is uh, a valid criticism but usually when i'm playing a game if it's not call of duty i really don't want to see the best of the best play of the game unless it's like if it's elden ring and i'm trying to see how someone's beating a boss that's a little different but at the same time there's a serious streamer side of it like i really want to see their pattern i really want to see how they navigate uh the fight differently than i do but at the same time if i've already beaten those games i really like seeing queso uh i really like to see kaisenet queso all these guys with big personalities and larger than life uh personas take on these huge challenges in games they have no business playing I mean, we saw Kaisen, he had no business playing that game, but it was really nice at the end to see him beat it and to see that satisfaction of finding that in someone else. Because I know when I beat Elden Ring, I had such a big win to satisfaction. It was so good. It was so good. Uh, the remark might also just suggest that he sees the potential for more innovative and engaging content beyond traditional game streaming, given his history of pushing boundaries in the same streaming space, such as Twitch, YouTube, and uh, um I don't know, anywhere else he's really streamed. Dr. Disrespect could be challenging the community to think creatively and evolve beyond just playing and streaming video games. And to that, I would tip my hat. But at the end of the day, we really need you to address these allegations. What is going on? And I don't think you should be the one leading the charge to to make the community think creatively and evolve. I really don't think you're that guy. Uh, this, this is a simple four-word tweet. I'm going to be real. Five words all together. Two sentences if you want to even count at that sense and a half tweet, I'm really analyzing it. Maybe we're over analyzing Dr. Disrespect now. Maybe we're over analyzing the situation that he's in right now because we still don't have the facts. We still don't have the chat logs. We still don't even have evidence. We just have his admission, right? And then someone else's uh, hearsay. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, if Dr. Disrespect does come back, are you guys going to welcome back with our open arm or is the bridge shocked? It, the, I, honestly, in my opinion, the bridge is chalked. I'm never going to see Dr. Disrespect the same. I'm never going to respect him the same. I'm not even going to see him in the same light. Uh, given the allegations and my interpretations of his admission, um, if more evidence comes out and supports a lesser claim, then I might change my standpoint. But from right now, he's saying that it sometimes led to inappropriate or to being inappropriate with a minor. Um, Non-negotiable, buddy. Sorry, Bridges Chalked right now. Is a redemption? Maybe. Let me know what you guys think. Is this redeemable? Is that just like spitting facts? Let me know in the comments below. See you all in the next one. Subscribe if you're brand new, and I'm out of here.